Garage. Welcome everyone to another quick episode of Gray's Garage. Today we're looking at the Ford Mustang. Uh, this is the fifth generation and the model we have here is the Shelby GT500. This is a 1 12th scale model so it's quite large. It's one of the largest scale models I could find. And we performed some dye injection on it. So this was actually performed by my summer student Wayne. And as you can see we have a port at the front of the vehicle injecting blue dye, which is simply just blue food coloring added to water, into the flow, and this helps us visualize how the flow moves over the hood, the roof, and near the back of the vehicle. So as you can see, it's pretty smooth over the hood and the, and the roof, and it gets a little bit more turbulent near the back of the vehicle. So as you can see, we now have two dye injection ports injecting dye into the flow. The forward one, again, is injecting the blue food coloring, and there's one along the rear windshield which is injecting a green fluorescent dye. So this is a dye that fluoresces and glows essentially under a UV light source. So you can see the green one is showing the flow along the rear of the vehicle. It's a little bit slower moving, a little bit more turbulent, whereas the blue is showing the flow over the hood and the upper roof which is faster moving, it's being accelerated and smoother. If we zoom in on the back of the vehicle, we can see a little bit more clearly the flow along the rear windshield. And you can see that the separation point is very well defined by the styling of the vehicle. It has a hard edge at the very rear, just above the taillights. And this is where the flow leaves the surface of the vehicle. It can't make that sharp turn, and so it continues on downstream and this is a, a very well-defined separation point. It's, it looks good for styling and it's also very good for aerodynamics. It helps with the stability, especially at high speed. So as you can also see that once the flow separates, it becomes a little bit more turbulent. You get some recirculations, looks like some vorticity forming, a large recirculation in the clockwise direction. And this is because you have a large recirculation region at the base of the vehicle, which we've seen before with the hydrogen bubble. We now have a dye injection port at the rear face of the vehicle, just above the rear taillights, and this is injecting another type of dye. It's also a, a fluorescent dye that we have. Uh, it glows, I believe it glows orange, if I'm not mistaken. However, we didn't use the UV lights here, we just have it mixed with water on a white background, and as you can see, this is the, the low speed wakes. So this is after the flow separates from the vehicle, and the flow is, is much slower here. You can see periodically some large counterclock or sorry, clockwise recirculations in the wake, and these are the separated recirculated regions off the vehicle at the back. And so the, the more stable these are, the more stability you're gonna have while driving the vehicle. If these are changing rapidly with time, you're gonna feel that as buffeting in the vehicle. And so the Ford designers did a really good job of fixing the separation lines, making the nice hard edges at the back, and this helps stabilize the aerodynamics in the rear wake. So we now have uh, both turned on. We have the upper rear windshield and the base wake, and we can see a little bit of mixing in, in you know, downstream. But the main difference here is the difference in speed. So the, the uh, yellow dye which is being injected on the windshield is moving much more quickly, so it's diffusing much faster. The faster the dye moves and the more turbulent it is, the faster it diffuses into the water. And so you can really see that with the yellow dye, it's diffusing quite quickly, whereas the pink dye takes a while to diffuse, and that's because it's moving much more slowly in the slower recirculated wake. So just as a final investigation, we now have a different viewpoint and we can see the locations of those dye ports. And just one thing to note here is that just visualize and see how the green dye along the rear windshield is being deflected inbound, inboard. So it's not actually following the lines of the vehicle, it's actually being pulled inwards towards the center line of the vehicle. And this is indicates that there's some sort of flow phenomena happening here to cause a redirection of the flow, which is kind of interesting. So I hope you enjoyed this very short video on dye injection for the Ford Mustang 5th generation. If you're interested in dye injection, it's very simple to set up for yourself. 
Um, I have a video on how this works. Basically, you just need to buy some dye, some tubing, uh, you need a water flow, and then you can go ahead and do some dye injection. It does have some limitations uh, compared to the other technique that I was using, which is hydrogen bubble visualization, but it does also have some strengths. And we were testing out different colors. You can really see you can get some mixing, some neat combinations. Uh, there's some really sort of popular uh, pictures and videos on dye injection, like one like this on the F35. And so uh, just get into reading it, and you can always contact me if you want you know, more information or you have questions. But uh, stay tuned for more videos.